Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the quick check-in for Tuesday. So we're going to use the Divine Structure deck for the question. So thank you angels, what's the question today? One card. So the question is, how are the lunar cycles affecting the Divine Feminine? How are the lunar cycles affecting the Divine Feminine? So there's a lot of power coming in right now. Full moon to new moon. A lot of change. Now I feel that your cycles, your body cycles ascension maybe a monthly cycle if you are a lady are being affected right now and if you are a man operating in feminine energy you're going to feel very emotional so there's a lot of emotion around right now and that could be highs lows feeling a heavy energy needing to cry purge you know get things out and journaling is very powerful right now that's what they give me intuitively so writing down your thoughts or feelings writing things down about the connection about what's going on in the journey even if it's hard when you get it down you know in the written word actually using a pen and a piece of paper not typing it out writing it out it's going to be very cleansing for you so a lot of healing occurring at this time so i'm going to bring in the angel whispers cards so how are the how are the lunar cycles or what's going on right now with the 11 11 portal we've just had and all of this how is it affecting the divine feminine? And I'm also going to bring in the messages from the mermaid stack as well. What do we need to know? How are the moon cycles or the lunar cycles affecting the divine feminine? And remember, you know, today the masculines are operating in feminine energy. So the masculines are feeling very emotional too. So this may resonate with what they are going through too. So the energy is... We've got go within. So the lunar cycles are helping us to go within. So the lunar cycles may be bringing in a little bit of silence or distance. Go within and find your inner peace because problems resolve when you listen to your inner self. So we are learning as a divine feminine especially that all we need on this journey is within us and above us. Our connection with self because that's also where we find our twin and our connection with source where we receive answers, guidance and help and support. So when we go within, we start paying attention to what's going on in here instead of what's going on out there. That means we pay less attention to what people say or what the masculine is doing or what's going on with the karmic situation and more in tune in here. You pay more attention of what's going on in your land than what's going on in the land. You know, like, for example, I say what's happening in Liz land today. I try and be more aware of what's happening in my land than in the outside land. Because when we focus on the news or we focus on the negatives, we get dragged into all of that. And it brings drama and chaos into our life. So focus on you, put your name and then land. Focus on your land. We've got solitude. So there's definitely this energy of needing to go within. Quiet times. And, you know, you need this too, Divine Feminine. You may feel right now all you want is to talk to your twin or go out with your twin or be with your twin. But the heavens know what you need. And what you need is time for you to rest, rejuvenate, get your energy back and prepare for what's next. And also that's the way you find your light. So all you need is your light. So the lunar cycles may be affecting your light. Remember your power. You are the lighthouse. If the lunar cycles are bringing in solitude and quiet time, the need to process and go within, stand strong and tall like a mighty oak tree, like the lighthouse that you are and shine bright. Because when you go within, when the masculines are processing, needing space, ignoring you or, you know, blocking you, it's always an opportunity for the divine feminine to go within and access the light. And the light overcomes the dark. The light pulls you through. The light is the answer. Like love is the answer to all of your questions. So in the quiet times, you find your light and the masculines are guided to your light. So believe in yourself, trust the journey, go within because that's where the answers are. And that's mainly where you find peace and harmony and acceptance to move ahead. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.